Dan, a freestyle BMX athlete, survive a black run at a bike park? We're at Bike Park Wales to find out, but first we need our pro BMXer. And stick around to see if I survive the skate park. So we've invited along James Jones. How you doing, you good? I'm good, mate. Should we go and get you a mountain bike? I think I'm ready, let's do it. Oh my God. That was good, I enjoyed that. <laughs> We're riding with James Jones, a Welsh BMX rider who represented Team GB at the Tokyo Olympic Games and Glasgow World Championships. James is one of the UK's best freestyle BMX riders, but riding a big wheeled mountain bike down Bike Park Wales' toughest tracks will take this Olympian well out of his comfort zone. We're going to start James off on a red jump line. This is a long way from the super smooth skate parks he's used to, but should give him a good chance of survival. If James copes with that, we'll be sending him down a black graded downhill racetrack. And if that doesn't scare him, well, I have a surprise which is sure to make him lose his cool, hidden in the darkest woods. Okay, so here we are. We've got your bike and we're going to go down to the uplift. Oh, kind of nervous, I'll be honest. I'll follow you. You follow me? Well, yeah, just so I know the speed and oh, stuff, right. yeah? Just don't obviously go out forever. I won't. That was good, that was well good. <laughs> okay, so we're at the top. How are you feeling, James? Do you know, I thought I'd be a lot more nervous than what I am. Uh, no, I'm just ready to uh, test it out. You're you know? excited nervous. I am, yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely. Uh, the bike's feeling sick. Yeah? Not that I know what it should feel like. <laughs> suspension works. Yeah, well, it's bouncy, I can tell you that. I'm not used to that. All right, drop it in. <laughs> oh, it's come off. How was that? That was kind of gnarly, that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're still here, you're oh. still alive. A couple of times I thought I was going to clip the tree. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Oh man. You ready for a bit of this? Aye. All jumps, yeah? Yeah, all jumps. All rollable. Yes, that was sick, that. Dude, that was sick. I saw you right behind me and I was like, he's still there. Yeah, and when I was catching, I was like, I kept feathering my brake. Like, because oh, I kept overshooting a bit. Fair play. But I enjoyed that, that was sick. Mate, I'm glad. You got a massive grin on your face. So yeah, that was sick. You must be doing something. I was concentrating so much and I was like, I almost, I forgot what I do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I was concentrating, like normally I'm just like, yeah, I'll do this and then improvise the next couple of jumps. Yeah. This time I was like, right, this, this lip looks a bit mellow. So do this, do this. Yeah, you are having to think about it. It's like it. learning again. Yeah, that's mad, man. Right, so James, you're a professional BMX park athlete. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your results highlights. Uh, so obviously my name's James Jones. I'm a professional freestyle BMX rider for Great Britain. Currently riding for Canna as well as my title sponsor. Yeah, results wise, I think the most Memorable result is uh, my first ever contest for Brit Cycling. You know, I, I do contests all over the globe. Um, first one, Canada, Denver. I had to pre qualify, qualify, semi finals, and finals. And um, I was the only Great Britain rider to make finals. So for me, most memorable, even though I've won a lot of contests um, throughout my you know, last six, seven years of my career, um, to do that was a big thing to travel because I never traveled that far in my life. And then all athletes dream of representing their country at the Olympics, and you've done that. Yeah, so I was in Tokyo 2020, 2021, because of obviously the pandemic. But yeah, uh, amazing achievement. Probably the best um, British cyclist ever done in Olympic Games. Uh, you know, with Declan Brooks getting third and Charlotte Worthington uh, getting first. So um, to be part of that was obviously 
a life achievement getting to the Olympics, but uh, also to see your mates do well is uh, an achievement in itself. All right, and now you're mountain biking. How do you feel your chances are? Slim. <laughs> Put it in one perspective, slim. <laughs> we'll see if you get to the bottom. I'm ready. Right, so you absolutely bossed A470. I think you even threw a cheeky no-hander there. Well, uh, I've never celebrated a no-hander in my entire life, but uh, to do it on these jumps is quite gnarly. It's a great feeling, to be fair. Uh, even though it's a no-hander, so don't judge me on that. But uh, no, it was sick. Uh, I've never enjoyed just not tricking the first run. Normally, you'd rather do a 360 to push through on jumps. These are just gnarly to float, man. Mate, you just nailed it first run, so I think you're definitely ready for something harder. This is a black run, Enter the Dragon behind us. You feel ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready, but I'm going to give it a go anyway, I'm here. Let's give it a go. <laughs> ready? Yeah. <laughs> Drop it in! I thought, okay, how was that? One of them, I came for the air like this. I was like, ah, I heard a little scream. I was, I was spared doing my break. I almost saw that one and then just, just case this. Yeah. I was like, ah, do I, nah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Drop in. Yeah, James. Man, I had dirt in my eye the whole time. You made it, mate. You did all the jumps. Is it by eyes, eh? Nice yeah. one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, and the inside corner. Oh. That was kicky, that one. Jesus Christ. Did you make it all right? Yeah, yeah. I overshot a bit. Right, so here we are on Boomstang. James, you ready? I think so. All right. Dropping in. Good. Okay, so there's like a step on, step off coming up. Here we are, this is what the rest of us like. This is like your idea of mountain bike and hell. Mate, that was hell. That was hell? Yeah. You said you were all right with that bit. No. When you said big booms, I thought they were going to catch me. I'm not going over. No. Oh, mate. Like, rolly over -y. Faster. That was scary. Right, James, you absolutely bossed Enter the Dragon. Every jump today you've nailed. So I'm taking you here where there are no longer any jumps and it's just roots and off camber and muddy gnar. How are you feeling? I mean, you lost me um, when we went boom slang and said it was a proper dirt <laughs> mountain bike steepness. So uh, I made it halfway, just about a couple of stumbles. Let's see if I can get to the bottom. Well, that was the easy half. It's not looking good. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing too hard. Oh, I'm laughing well. too hard. I was like, follow Will, he knows the way. Go on, James. Go on, James. <laughs> ah! He's still there. Oh, he's gone. <sighs> Why are you always in the right position? <laughs> Breaks me, I gotta push back up. You got further than last time. Oh, fuck. He didn't make the first corner. <laughs> Jesus! It's hard, dude. It's definitely a black trail. This is solid. 
I feel me. Let's do it again. Oh, oh, so close. You're oh. Right. oh my god. You're so close, man. Oh, this is frying me. Dude, you're nearly there. You're nearly there. I reckon if we go up to start by Kai, when you make it over that, we're going to give you a full lap. This this bit's easy down here. You've basically made it. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how I, my body was just so off. You made it around both those corners, though. You made it around the rock wall. I, I got right through there, to be fair. Yeah. You're going well, mate. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ah! Ah! He's nearly there. Oh, God. Yes! He's nearly there. <laughs> oh, my God. Mate, you should have seen that. Oh, I was going down like this. <laughs> You made it! Oh my god! The end. Hey, I was like, ah. <laughs> oh Jesus! How I didn't come off then? My feet were off, everything, the wheels are off. You made it though, you made it down a black run on a mountain bike. Oh. And nobody can say that's just a jump track. That right, is honest to God, that was that was intense. I think honest God, that would take me at least a week to get down all in one. It was just so bloody hard. I thought I'd done well here all day, I've done alright. And I knew as soon as I got to proper mountain biking, I'd struggle. But you've done all of it now, so it's just about lacing it together. I don't think it'll take you a week. I think you could do that oh. next run. Well, I love the confidence. <laughs> right, James, that's it. I put you through hell. Why don't we give you a little rest and go to the skate park where you feel oh. a bit more at home? I thought you'd never ask. All right, let's go. So James, this is your BMX. Talk us through your bike. So obviously it's a lot different to a mountain bike, which we've just been on uh, this morning. 20 inch wheels, not 29 that I was on. It's a hell of a lot lighter, so you can chuck it about. And for me, obviously it benefits me in my sport. It is uh, titanium as well, just that extra bit lighter. Yeah, I know, yeah. saucy, eh? I like my bike really compact, but also along the top tube. So it's a 21 on the front, uh, the top tube and then the back's are really, really small. So it can get up to around 12.5, which is really, really tight, you know, but uh, it helps me with my tail whips. Not knobbly tires. We don't do that in the skate park. Ultimately, they're foldable, they're light. Anything light is good in the BMX. So how many PSI do you run in your tires? 100 PSI. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, if I'm in a hot country, I'll put it down to 90 just because it does expand. And with these tires are so thin, it blows the walls out. Wow. Okay, and I can see this isn't mirrored. You've got left-hand drive on this bike. Why is that? Um, a lot of people think it's because of pegs, but as you can see, I don't run pegs whatsoever. But uh, normally I tail whip to my left and I catch this way. So just in case I do go a bit cranks, if I'm doing a triple tail whip, I tend to just clamp. Ah, uh, so you don't want to kick your sprocket. I don't want to land on the sprocket. Yeah. Because one, bruised heel lasts ages. Right. And two, you just go through shoes like no tomorrow. Uh, any other features on the bike you're particularly proud of? Any more titanium other than the spokes? Yeah, so tie spindle in the cranks. Uh, every single bolt then is tie. I do have mountain bike pedals. Yes, keeping it mountain bike. So there's kind of a crossover. They're the only ones I haven't snapped yet. So uh, specialized, yeah, just give me some more if you want to. Okay, so James, in addition to your own riding, you're a judge at Dirt Wars, which is the UK's premier dirt jump contest. So how do you score those contests and how are you scored when you're competing? I mean, it, obviously it's very different when I'm competing because we have five uh, judges and they're all old BMXers or current BMXers, so they understand and know what it takes, you know, to be competing for 60 seconds at a high level. But when I do Dirt Wars, uh, I'm one of three judges. I score up to 40. Uh, amplitude, smoothness, you know, obviously difficulty. Um, we do 60 seconds, they normally have around four jumps. Right. So um, I, I think I've got a bit of an idea. Ultimately, we have five jumps. 
but you've got the whole of the skate park. I'll give you 60 seconds to do a run. You, you've destroyed me today, so I want to destroy you today. Okay, 60 seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but I bet on these jumps, it feels like forever. So, smoothness is key here. It's box after box after box. Like trails, you case them, yep. then your run's technically not as smooth. Okay, I'll do my best. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, he's wasted two seconds on that mark. Yes, Will, with that one-handed tire grab. Yes, easy. <laughs> ah! Come on, keep going. You're only 25 seconds in. Bonus points for the Manny. Woo! I'm 25 seconds yeah, in already. 30, 30 seconds. Yes. Last 20. Yes, Will. 15. Oh, wait. Has he, has he oh. Got, oh, he's got the last five. Yes, well. That's it. There's I'm no, tired. There's no scores for overtime. <laughs> that is absolutely knackered. <laughs> you've, done, you've done well. Yes, man. How's your legs? I'm like, I'm like, I'm just like jelly, like all of me. <laughs> Don't know how they do and it. And that's it. That's just pre-qualifying. <sighs> then the next day, you've got to do it all again. And then the next day, you've got semi-finals. You do it all again. And then on the Sunday, you have finals. No wonder you've got to be fit. Uh, Can't even get up the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> right, James, what's your verdict on mountain biking? Joe, I was, ju I was just thinking, I, I reckon I'm going to be back in Bike Park Wales very soon. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. Uh, seriously, I really enjoyed it. And I want redemption on, on that slalom mountain biking. Boom slag. A boom oh. slag, that's the one. Fair play. Well, thanks very much for joining us and thanks for uh, helping me with my BMX riding. I don't think you needed help, mate. You didn't need any help, Jesus. Yeah, watch your back, you know, next year. <laughs> 2024 is my year. Bring in those 60 seconds. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us and uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more challenge videos like this one. Ah oh, mate, legend. How do I get down from here?